nothing beats a cold glass of water on a hot day. Hello, I'm Paxi, your favourite space explorer. And today I will tell you all about the water cycle. Did you know that the water I am drinking is the same water that dinosaurs drank over 200 million years ago? And the same water that you will be drinking 50 years from now. As you know, every living thing on Earth needs water to survive. Plants, trees, animals, and of course, humans. The Earth only has a certain amount of water, and it's the same today as it was 4 billion years ago. It travels around and around and around. This is called the water cycle. It's Mother Nature's clever way of recycling its water. Come, I'll show you how. When the sun heats the Earth, it causes the temperature of water in rivers, lakes and oceans to rise. When this happens, some of the water evaporates into the air, becoming a gas called water vapour. This is called evaporation. As the water vapour moves up into the air, it becomes cold and turns back into liquid droplets. That's how clouds are formed. This process is called condensation. When a lot of water has condensed and the air cannot hold so many water droplets anymore, the water falls back to Earth. It can do this in different ways. Rain, hail, sleet or snow. This is what we call precipitation which is not always very nice, especially when you want to play outside. All the water that falls back to Earth will be collected in different ways. This is called collection. Water that falls into the oceans, lakes and rivers will evaporate again and begin a new cycle. Water that falls on land soaks it and becomes groundwater that plants, animals and humans use to drink. Water that falls on vegetation evaporates again through the leaves of the plants. And do you know what happens to water that falls on glaciers as snow? Some of it freezes and keeps the glacier alive. And some of it becomes liquid with the heat of the sun and feeds rivers. Cool, isn't it? Wherever the water falls, it keeps on recycling itself over and over and over again. Your planet really is amazing. So, today we learned that every living thing needs water to survive. Water on Earth has been the same for four billion years. Water evaporates, forms clouds and then falls back to Earth is collected into oceans, lakes and rivers. And it keeps on recycling itself over and over and over again. Bye bye! See you soon for our next adventure through the wonderful universe! <laughs>